This lesson is, again, a lesson on queries. We learned a little bit about queries in the filters lesson, and we saw that we can use a filter and make it a permanent filter by saving it as a query. So, simply stated, a query is a permanent filter. So, what it does is it filters out things that we don't want to see. So, here is our table, and it really helps to know what your table looks like before you create a permanent filter called a query. And you can filter out any kind of information at any time. You can only ask for people who live in Chicago. You can only ask for people who live in a certain state or within a certain zip area or outside of a certain zip area. Uh, people with phone numbers that start with this or end with this. People with certain membership types. People who have pool privileges. People who don't have pool privileges. People with certain term dates or smaller than some or longer than others. Uh, term lengths. So you can filter out anything that you want. And you can do it on the fly. But if you know that you're going to be asking for a filter on a regular basis, go ahead and create a brand new query. You would create a query... Um, from scratch if you want to do this the long way um, with a lot more detail than simply saving a filter you would go to create and from here you would create a query now I, I don't really like the wizards that much so we're gonna create one from scratch using design and from here it's asking the the permanent filter that you want to create it's based on what table and I know that I want to build filters permanent filters on my table members table. So you would click this and you say that's the table that I want to use. And then you would close this little window. So now it's showing me all the fields inside of that table. And now I would hand select what it is I'd want to see in this permanent filter. Now oftentimes you want to see everything. So when you want to when you run your filter, you want to see all of the different fields. You just don't want to see all the records, right? You don't want to see all the people. You only want to see the people who qualify, but you want to see all of their information. And that's typically the case. There are two ways of saying, show me everything. One way is by double and clicking the asterisk. And that brings every single one of the fields in. So now if I run this, I haven't filtered anything out. It's just going to show me everything in my table. I haven't really done anything yet. I'm just saying, show me everything. Once you put in the asterisk, now you can ask to say, I only want the people who have pool privileges let's say so I'm gonna ask I'm gonna double click on pool privileges here and I'm going to say criteria has to be yes okay because pool privileges I know my table is a yes and no field now if I don't if I leave it like this pool members is gonna show up twice so I'm gonna show you how that this looks so now it's only showing me the people who have pool and it's showing me all of my records and it's showing me pool twice here and here you probably wouldn't want that to happen so from design view because we already have everything showing up because of this so from design view I would simply deselect that so it is going to filter out all the no's but I'm not going to see it twice so that's how that works so I'm going to go back to design view so this little button here brings me back and forth from what my records look like to the design of this thing um, if you were happy with this of course you would save this as a brand new query and it would be added to your list right here now I'm going to start another query another brand new query I'm going to go to create here and once again query design and once again, I'm going to use table members and then close this little window. Last time we used the asterisk, I also want you to know that you can double click right up here. So I double clicked right on table members. And then you can manually just drag this all the way down. And now my fields are appearing this way. I know a lot of people prefer to work this way. This way they know they're getting all their fields and now they can identify exactly which field that they want to filter out from and they can type in the criteria right here in criteria um, one thing that we can ask is for people who do have a phone number so that we can actually contact them 
uh, or do have an email so that we can contact them. So in, in this case, we're going to go with phone number and we're going to say is not null, which is access is way of saying is not empty. So make sure they have a phone number. So when I run this, I'm only going to see people who have a phone number. If you wanted to do the opposite, you would say is null only people who do not have a phone number. And then if you wanted to save this, you can, you can ask to save. And it's asking for the name of the query. And here I would type probably no phone. And you need to understand that queries automatically adjust to represent the people who have no phone. So if this person went out and got a phone today, they would no longer show up inside this query in the future because they now have a phone. So the queries are very intelligent and they will only show you the information as of when you ask to run that query. We're going to create one more permanent filter or query uh, using the same method. So we're going to go to create and we're going to go to query design and we're going to ask for the same table, table members, and then close. And whatever way you want to bring it in, you can use the asterisks or you can double click and then bring everything in. So I'm just clicking and dragging here. And then we're going to do a date filter. So we have the term date. And this is where a lot of people get confused and I'm just going to try and help here. We're going to ask for people who signed up before the year 2000. If you're unsure which one to use, just try one. And if it doesn't work, change it to the opposite. So we can go 2000 slash 01 slash 01 and then run it. Just go to view. You can hit run or view. They both pretty much do the same. They'll take you to your results. So now it's showing me the people after 2000. So that's the exact opposite of what it is I wanted. So no problem. I'll go back to view here, design view. And I'm just going to change that. And then I can run that. And now I'm only seeing the people. Now I inadvertently checked off the date field. So let me fix that right here. And then I'm going to run this again. And there we go, only the people before 2000. And now, if you wanted to add only the people with more than five for term length, you can fix that as well, right? So you can build your query in stages. And if you have multiple criteria, I would strongly recommend that you do that. That way, if something goes wrong, you'll know where it went wrong. So if I want greater than five here, I would go greater than five and then run it again. And now it's working perfectly. And if I only wanted Chicago, I can now go back and I can add Chicago. So now I've got a great permanent filter that shows me only the people who signed up before year 2000 with more than five years term length that live in Chicago and you would save this and it would become a permanent filter once again. So pre-2000 Chicago five plus kind of a messy name, but there it is.